All right, guys, let's go ahead and watch this clip and then circle back to talk about it after. Kelly, I thought I told you not to let this one come into my office again. And she doesn't have an appointment. You're joking with your job. When she leaves, come to my office. What is it? Sir, please, I don't intend to take any of your time. Just hear me out. It all started when my cousin and I, Margaret, we, we decided to go on a getaway. So we, we went to a resort. Everything was fine, except one thing. We, we realized that we didn't have a man of our own. What do we do? We tell anyone who cares to listen that we are married women. And then we just look out for a nice name. And maybe we buy either a silver or a gold ring. And voila, we are ready for the dating game. And where would we tell them that our husbands are? We left them at home. Who cares? So how did you pick my name? We saw it at the resort. Vineyard Resort. Yes, I was at Vineyard for a business conference not too long ago. I found your business card dropping from a guidebook. And since the image and the name on the card actually fit our prank, we decided to go with it. I will assume that this your immature games and prank, all of it has come to an end. Uh, sir, it's, it's not finished. What is it? Yes, so as I was saying, at the resort there, I eventually met uh, a young man. His name is Wilson. We fell in love and and before the end of the resort, he proposed. Good for you. That's very good. So now at least the prank worked for you. Uh, yes, but there's a problem, sir. You know, what is it? He actually thinks that you and I are still married. Okay, so don't tell him the truth. Oh. Tell him the truth and then clear up all this lies and then go and, uh, and live happily ever after. Happily ever after is too far. If I tell him the truth, there will be a problem. What is the problem? Yes, the main problem now is that he's at the reception <laughs> waiting to discuss the divorce with you. He's in my office. I'm going to have to call Please, this. no. Please, sir, just help me. Please, just five minutes. After five minutes, you will never see me again in this life. Five minutes? Yes, sir. Five minutes. I don't want to ever see you around me again. I don't want to hear about this again. Yes, sir. Four minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, um, come into the office. <laughs> I am sure she has told you everything. I just want to hear from you to know that you're cool with this situation and uh, no bad feelings here. Yeah, of course, no problem. Cold rumors. Well, you know, I love the title of that movie, but um, this goes a long way to teach us a lesson about playing games. You know, ladies do this, guys do this. Uh, you know, we tend to be who we're not uh, while in, you know, the dating stage. And sometimes there's like supposed to be little lies here and there, lies that shouldn't really hurt anybody, you know, but you still lie regardless. And, you know, the whole reason at that time is usually to, you know, place yourself on a this beautiful pedestal or maybe at a higher social class in life. And then later down the line, it turns out to be a lie. Most of the time, it's not really the lie itself. It's the fact that you kept the lie on for so long and then at the end of the day maybe when the guy has now proposed or when he now finds out the truth so you try to downplay it or try to shove it under the carpet you know that it's just a little lie that it didn't matter that this or that you know it was just a game ladies guys you know try as much as possible to hang your coat where your hands can reach especially when you're dating you know don't be who you are not don't act as if you're something that you're not. And this, I think, goes a lot for guys more than it goes for ladies. If you cannot afford something, don't go begging to make it happen. Because these things later catch up, you know, and then it will look like you deceived the person into either marrying you or into being in a relationship with you. So, the whole lesson that I feel like we should learn with this thing is, you know, kind of like, you know, living within your means, you know, and hanging your coat where your hands can reach when it comes to relationships, you know, being real with your partner. Don't try to overdo or outdo yourself. Uh, so if you cannot afford something, tell her you cannot afford it. You know, ladies, if you cannot do something, 
Tell her you can't do it. Don't say, ah, I would only do this for my husband. You know, and now when he now becomes your husband, you can no longer do the thing. So it, it applies both ways. But, you know, the bottom line is that there's some level of deceit that applies. So avoiding that deceit is always better because down the line, whatever it is that you kind of like covered up with a blanket, it's still going to come to light. And at that time, it would be bigger than the problem really is because now it's not just about the lie it's about the deceit it's about the cover-up you know pretense it's it's everything at that point the moral here is live within your means you know do what you would normally be able to do don't overhype yourself don't make the other party believe you are who you are not because it does catch up so if you love content like this please subscribe follow share like my name is cj and as always i'm here to deliver sense